Welcome back to Hollow Knight. I'm here just in the entrance to the Queen's Gardens, just entering from the Fog Canyon. This is a fairly difficult area. There's lots of thorns everywhere, uh, lots of mantis lords, uh, a few grubs to find, and one of them is in probably the hardest uh, place to get to in this game. Oh gosh. We've got these little uh, spiky creatures as well. Um, one thing I've noticed is that the, the shade, uh, the dash with the shade cloak is a little bit longer than the, uh, the regular shade, uh, the regular dash, um, which has made all of my... Is it longer? It doesn't appear to be longer now, but sometimes it seems to be longer, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just my game. But uh, it's made me... Um, hesitate to do the uh, the dashes now because I don't know exactly how far I'm going to go. Uh, oh gosh, these Mantis Lords are kind of annoying. They send out their their rings downwards and they uh, they lift up when you try to, to jump near them. Um, the gates are going to close here. Was, that was it. Um, it was too bad. Uh, now we have corner for the map maker just over here. There's a bench here as well to uh, to rest up. So I'm just going to head over in this direction. I need to do a bit of a bit of a loop around. It's really weird because the dash um, before was causing was um, was a longer dash. But maybe I think it's maybe the charms I'm using. Maybe one of the charms interacts with the shade cloak and gives you a longer dash. Um, let's get rid of these. Uh, two guys here, and to go and speak with Cornifer. Uh, he tells you about the the queen of Hallow Nest, and uh, she is in this area. The White Queen wants you to defeat the boss. Uh, then you can go and speak with her. She'll give you half the King Soul. The other half is found in the White Palace. When you have both of them, then you can get access to the birthplace at the bottom of the Abyss. Uh, there is also the Love Key in this area. To get there, though, I need to open up this gate here. Um, just need to check the distance of my... Okay, it seems to be about the same. That's really weird. It must have been one of the, uh, one of the charms I was using in the past. Um, when I was go oh my god, when I was going through this area, um, gave me a longer, oh my god, gave me a longer dash, and I'm really not doing well with these thorns. I always find it so hard. Um, oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> I always find it a lot harder to um, to do these difficult platforming sections when I'm recording. Yeah, so the dash was longer before. I, I, I did the jump and the dash and was able to easily make it across. Okay, I'm just going to have to adjust on the fly here. Okay, so this gate is now open. I can head through to this section. Um, just across and down, that should take me to the area where I can find the... Uh, the love key. Well, I think I know what charm it is. It's the charm that does damage when you dash through someone. 
I think that uh, increases the length of the uh, of the dash. I may have to check that out. So that's the love key there. That essence tree, the, the whispering root, doesn't have a lot of, uh, of essence here, but it does have a, a little bit, so I might as well just grab what I can. Uh, there we go, I think that's everything. It is, beautiful. So there's a fairly difficult platforming section over here. Just uh, past these Mantis Lords. Oops. I can not, not jump straight into... Oh god. No. Oh god. Not jump straight into the path of those mantis traitors. That would be good. Another mantis uh, mantis traitor here. Uh, I'm going to check this out. I'm pretty sure it's the. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm going to change the charms and see if that changes the length of my dash. Let's go and unlock this bench for 150 geo. Let's remove the uh, the soul catcher there. I'm going to put on the sharp shadow. It doesn't say that it lengthens the, the length of the dash. Oh, it does. It definitely does. Okay, so that that's why. The sharp shadow dash is about 20% longer than the regular dash. So I'm just going to have to remember that. Uh, the path down here leads to uh, Deep Nest. I do like the Sharp Shadow um, charm, even though it's going to screw up the um, the length of my dashes. I've been playing the whole game with a, a certain length of, of dash, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to adjust, but that's okay. Right, so there's a grub up here. Um, a little battle, first of all. I didn't see that one there. Little spiked creatures everywhere. It's kind of a difficult place uh, to navigate. Oh, oh the, the length of the dash. I'm going to have to do all of my jumps a little... <laughs> it's too long. This dash is too long. I don't like it. Uh, there is a grub over here. I should probably head back now to, well, I'll see if I can uh, recover my health without needing to go back to the other uh, bench. Now uh, there is the, uh, the tram station over there, uh, the stag station. Uh, 
uh, just through there is the place where you need to drop off the flower uh, from the quest you get from the uh, the resting grounds. Now, once you oh, this this dash is too long. I, d I really don't like it. It would help if I didn't just walk uh, straight into those... Whoa! Straight into those creatures. Uh, there is a little grub up here, so I'm going to go and grab him. Uh, first of all. There we go. There's also, let me have a look. There's also, I think, a Wanderer's Journal around here somewhere. Oh, I just ducked under him. <laughs> that was amazing. That was good timing. Uh, let's head across now for uh, a Dream Warrior battle. Uh, it's probably one of the easiest uh, boss battles in the game, I think. He did a lot more damage there than I would like, but uh, that's okay, I got through it. There is a bench just to the right and the entrance to the, uh, the stag station. And he is going to give us 150 essence. This path here leads to the uh, the stag station. Let's just unlock this. How much is it going to cost? 200. Uh, there's a little bench over here, so let's just rest up, which is good. And uh, let's go and have a chat with the, uh, the stag. Now that I have all of the stations unlocked, he's going to remember the location of the stag nest and offer to take me there. Yeah, 
It's worthwhile coming here just for one reason, really, as far as I can tell, and that is the the mask, uh, the vessel fragment. So, let's head back to the Queen's Gardens. There's one more grub that I need to rescue. And then it's on to the boss fight. I'm a little bit worried about this boss fight because he has been given a buff in the last update. And he now does uh, double damage for, I think, most of his attacks. And for contact with his body. Sharp Shadow Dash is just... It's so much longer than the regular, regular dash. Okay, so this is the uh, the way to the final grub of this area. It's a difficult, difficult one to grab. I've I've screwed this up already. So you're going to float a little bit lower there. Okay, at least I got rid of him, so that's okay. I do want to heal up a little bit, but I do want to save some of the spirit for uh, a little bit higher up. Um, so I can use the vengeful spirit. Such a uh, such an, an annoying little area to get to. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no! I thought I had it there. That's crazy. Come on, let's try this again.
Oh, did it. Thank goodness for that. Um, I also need to get down though, so... Here's... Hoping it's... Now I'm gonna hit those spikes. Whew, okay, I made it. Beautiful. Um, now, the thing is, I also need to probably get back to the uh, the bench just to heal up a little bit, because there isn't a bench between here and the, uh, the boss, and I have taken a fair amount of damage. I'm probably going to need to do the boss fight a few times anyway, because it is uh, fairly tough. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna die here, aren't I? No! Oh, wrong button. Well, that puts me back here anyway. Um, let's go and, and uh, see if I can take on the boss. Hopefully my shade isn't going to be in a too difficult uh, spot. Okay, it's in a terrible spot. My shade is in an absolutely terrible spot. That is ridiculous. Um, see if I can draw him up here. There we go. So you need the Shade Cloak to be able to face this boss. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Let's see how this goes. There's a few Mantis traitors to deal with. Oh god, first of all. Oh my god, that double damage is just crazy. I'm not sure how I'm going to beat this boss, but I'll try it again. Oh my god, I beat him. I actually beat this guy. I've been trying for uh, probably about two hours. Oh, he's so crazy. Please tell me that was the end of it and there's not a second form or something. <laughs> I managed to defeat him using uh, basically the Sharp Shadow, 
Lifeblood Cure and Joni's Blessing just for the extra health. He does double damage for most of his attacks and for touching his body as well, so for body contact. So just wanted all the hearts that I could get. Uh, that eventually worked. Fantastic. Whew. Now let's go and see the uh, the White Queen over here. Uh, hello. Let's enter inside. And... What do we have here? So I've gained half of, uh, I think it's called the King's Soul, the White Fragment. Does she have anything else to say? Okay, so that is all the time I have for in this episode. Thanks for watching. That is the end of the Queen's Garden, so I'll see you all again soon for the next video.